Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In the last video, we looked at the hide function in jQuery, the effect in jQuery, and we successfully hid an element uh, by clicking a button. So we clicked hide and this text disappeared. We then used a callback function to tell the user the, the element had been hidden, and I explained a bit about why we were why we would use callback functions. In this tutorial, we're going to look similarly at show. So if we go ahead and change hide here to show, nothing will happen at the moment because the element is all automatically shown by default. So when we show the element, we don't really show anything because it's already been shown. Now this uh, show function applies to elements that have a visibility of nothing. So for example, if we were to come into our div here and type style equals and create some inline CSS, we could uh, actually hide this element by default. So when the page loads, we can hide this element by default. So for example, I would write display none now when I uh, let's just modify this button as well so it says show if I was to refresh now when I click show this element is shown and then we have our callback function with uh, element hidden uh, but obviously we've shown our element that was just what I put in here so let's just change that to shown okay so what happens if you want to uh, eradicate the use of CSS but automatically make specific elements hidden by default and then be able to show them. Now inside effects.js we can use the document ready functionality to hide any elements we want and then allow this click event to actually re-show them. So let's go ahead and say document.ready and inside here we need a function. We need our function block and we're going to pull that down so we can write our code in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the element a underscore div you remember using the hash, the dollar sign outside of these parentheses, and I'm going to say dot hide, and that's it. So we've automatically hidden this when the page is loaded. So we're not using any CSS styling, but we're using jQuery to handle the fact that we're hiding this element uh, once the document is ready. What we can then do is use the button to catch the event, show this, slow, linear and then use the callback function to alert that the element has been shown. Let's go ahead to our browser and test this out. Now you can automatically see that the element has been hidden despite the fact that we haven't used any CSS to do so. So when we go ahead and click show we get the same functionality. We have some text inside here and then we have element shown. So the two functions hide and show both both work uh, in opposite of each other where the hide actually sets the element visibility to none and the show removes this element or removes this visibility um, set to none. So this is a problem because obviously we can only show and hide with one set of function. However, there is a toggle function which we'll be looking at a bit later on that allows you to simultaneously hide and show elements.